Uh, can't wait to, to get him here. He'll give us a little bit more size, too. But again, uh, it's up in the air exactly where we'll line him right now. But again, it excites me as I can do so many things <laughs> offensively, like some of these guys can get in a wildcat formation and do some different things, and then also throw the ball, and then also play receiver, running back. So again, we're excited about having Terry join us. Now, when we get into our defensive signees, uh, we really emphasize the linebacker position because, again, we're going to a 3-4, so we needed more linebacker candidates. What we look for is speed and aggressiveness, and we've really found that with this group. First one is uh, Brenton Bowman from Holy Cross. He was first-team All-State this year as a center, uh, senior. excuse me. But also, the thing to note about the athletic ability of some of these kids, he also returned two punts for touchdowns this year you know, as a linebacker. He's well put together. We'll try to do the best we can with the video on some of these young men. Yeah, he's returning it here, I guess. Is that him? Yeah. Again, that's a linebacker. Oh. <laughs> we gotta work on that. We gotta work on that last thing. Okay, we got uh, next is Nick LeBlanc. Nick's from Vanderbilt Catholic there in Homa. We're excited about having him. He has all the qualities of what I'm looking for. I mean, he's above average athletic ability, great kid, and an excellent student. Again, he was selected for the Bayou River All-Star Game, and he was also named first team All-District. We're super excited about having him join us. <coughs> Okay, next we have Marcus Parker. Marker was second team All-State. And an important thing about Marcus, as you run it, Marcus, this is for his team, it said he received the team's black shirt award for never missing a summer workout during his career. I kind of like that. You know, never missed a workout in all of his high school career. Again, some of you old-timers are like me. I said, what's he got on, black Rydells? You remember when we all used to wear Rydells? Nobody wears those no more. Be an aggressive player. Okay, the next linebacker is Ben Taylor. Ben comes from Hanville High School. And uh, unique about, uh, again, Ben's an excellent student also. He was named first team All-State as a senior linebacker. He plays really downhill. You can see him. He really can run. Does a tremendous job. Very good player. For our defensive linemen, we have Cole Frazier from Brother Martin. Again, uh, excellent player for his football team. He's got the frame of what we're looking for, but he's also a member of the National Honor Society. So some of you might keep hearing National Honor Society or Honor Student. The thing we feel like in recruiting, they're out there. Very good players and very good students. You just have to dig a little deeper sometimes, and that's what we plan on doing. Then we have uh, Jordan Thompson. Jordan comes from Hanville High School, and uh, he do, he's going to give us some size inside and some presence there. Uh, he's a load. We have on our recruiting trips, Kanadis was nice enough to uh, give us a bunch of king cakes. He by far won that, you know, uh, of inhaling the king cake. 
But again, he's a fun, he's got a lot of personality. Right here, I questioned this one play, but they said, Coach, don't worry about it. He picked it off, but I said, did he spike that ball when he got in the end zone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to correct him on that. But again, he's, got, he's a fun guy to be around. Next is our safeties. We have Davin Bovey. Davin's from uh, Riverdale High School. Uh, Davin played in all, uh, the Lake Pontchartrain All-Star Classic. Again, excellent track. Uh, just an excellent safety for us because he can really run, cover, and hit. Okay? I know all the coaches on defense really like this. I mean, that's what we want right there. Okay? So, again, lots of, uh, these are all fine young men, too. I mean, good kids. And then here he is dropping into coverage, making a play. Okay? Very good. Okay, next young man is Byron Cobb. Byron Cobb comes from West Feliciano High School. The thing that's unique about him, he was first team All-State. He also played in the Louisiana-Mississippi Bowl game. And he also is a tremendous baseball player and will play baseball for the Nichols baseball squad also. So we're super excited about having Byron. Okay, right here, pause. Oh, well, you can't pause it. See number 14 catching that? That's Byron. Okay? I told the coaches, I kind of might need to reconsider exactly where he's playing. <laughs> they all got all bent out of shape, the defensive coaches. But no, he's a tremendous athlete. Tremendous athlete. Then we have uh, a corner, cornerback athlete slot category, Darvin Butler. Darvin comes from Clackamine High. And uh, the thing about him, he's playing quarterback here. He's going to play cornerback for us. He's, he played corner as a junior. Then this year he had to play cornerback for his high school team for them to be successful. He did lead them in the playoffs, but you can see his quickness, explosiveness. And again, he's super excited about working with Coach Dillon, you know, as a cornerback. So again, what we're trying, I know I talked a little bit about playmakers on offense, but you need playmakers on defense just as much. Okay, now we have two young men that are already here, mid-year signees, okay? In the offensive line, we have big Ryan Zeller. Ryan's 6'5", 318. He's here right now. He's got a smile on his face every day. He uh, uh, was first team All-State, and again, he's coming in. He's just uh, like a... a he really gets a half a year bonus kind of coming in mid-year as a high school player. He will get benefit by working with Coach Uparessa, and he'll be a much further along and maybe be able to help us some this fall. Then we had the linebacker, we had a transfer. He came, he's originally from Lawrenceville, Georgia, Brandon Sanders. Brandon uh, is a transfer from Ole Miss. He played linebacker there, good kid. Um, you know, we're super excited. He made all kinds of awards there as a high school player in Georgia. He signed with Ole Miss, and uh, again, we're super excited to have him. I think the reason he was looking at us and, and Coach Atwell handled a lot of it with him is I think they, they realized that, you know, for some of these kids, you've got to be out on the field making plays, and I think that it might have been more of a playing time type thing for him to come here. But he's a super young man. I enjoy having him around. And these were some of the practice cuts there. Okay, if you'll turn the lights on, please. I got just a couple things I'd like to share with you. And then we've got questions and answers, oh, if you, anybody has them. Okay, a couple things to note. A couple things to note is that uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, uh, we will release our 2011 schedule, season schedule. It will be released tomorrow. We just didn't want to do it the same as this because we really believe these kids deserve 
the attention and the recognition has been released from this. The next thing to note is our spring practice dates have already been set. We'll get those to Jamie soon, and we'll get all that out to you. We'd love to have people come out and watch us practice, scrimmage, and all that, but we've already set all that, and that's all in place. The next thing uh, to note is, uh, you know, when I came here, uh, trying to see if I've got my little sheet. It was during the, if any of you have, were able to come to our, our, uh, our football banquet, you know, I talked about a couple things at the banquet, and I'd like to share it with you and then share exactly what we're doing right now. I talked about uh, tradition, and I know we've got a lot of alums, a lot of people that just really absolutely love Nickel State, and uh, are all, we're trying to get this all organized, but I wanted to tell you that you know, as a coach here, I embrace tradition. I mean, I'm part of the old BYU family where I came from and this and that. But the biggest thing I'd like, I read this because I kind of adapted it to our university. I like to read it and then I like to show you something. Here's what it talks about tradition. No one can help but be aware of the rich tradition that is associated with this team and this university. There are, pe there are people too old now to go to the games who still remember wearing a red, gray, and white jersey men for whom Nickel State University has great meaning. There are also some young men who are still too young to be left alone in the stadium now who would like to one day wear a red, gray, and white jersey and to be part of the Nickel State University family. Tradition is a burden in many ways. To have a tradition like ours means that you can't quit. To have a tradition like ours means that you can't lose your cool, even if you're not quite up to it. To have a tradition like ours means that you have to do some things you don't want to do and some you even think you can't do simply because the tradition demands it of you. On the other hand, tradition is the thing that sustains us. Tradition is that which allows us to prevail in ways we, we could not otherwise. I am convinced that greatness in any field has to come out of some kind of tradition. Our job is to make certain that the tradition that is Nickel State University means as much and stands for as much as those who are yet to come as it has for us and those who have gone before us. So what we were talking about, and me and Kerry, I appreciate Kerry Connor so much, we sat down and I said, I want to work something up because I asked a few questions. I said, guys, you know, not just the football guys, I said, I walk around campus some. I said. Does anybody wear letter jackets or anything? And some people might have thought letter jackets are old. No, I've been to other universities, big universities, pretty recent. And those kids wear them just as proud. The ladies wear them, the, the men wear them, all different sports. So we went out and designed one. So this is what it kind of looks like right now. And we went out and got it designed, you know, with the nice leather sleeves and everything like that, and got the nice Nichols logo. And what we're trying to do is just get something going, tradition. I know there's only so many months out of the year, you know, would you wear anything. But let me tell you, when you're done, just like some of you older guys that have already played, we'll probably, if we can organize this thing right, have a way that you can get one. And the thing that I'm excited about, I was telling my wife Sandy, the person that put these together for me and everything like that, $65. $65 is all that is. I can remember back in my day, I thought I was probably paying 30 or 40 just to have mine back in the 70s or so. But right there, that's all it is. And all I'm trying to do is get something going so that the kids and not just us and coming to games and everything like that, there's something there. Okay? So again, that's just one thing that we're trying to do. But our players, I want them to appreciate all the people that have played before them or attended this university and care about them. And they're learning that as we go. Again, um, in closing, I just appreciate everybody coming. Tremendous group. And uh, again, um, I feel like we're headed in the right direction. I realize there's no quick fixes to anything. But I feel like we've got a plan, and we'll carry it out. But again, I appreciate you coming, and I hope this was very informative for you to take and, and share with others. But I know Jamie will get it released, and it'll be all released on our website and everything like that as we move forward. Thank you very much.